Joining us once again on the program is Dr. Orly Tates. She is a lawyer, a dentist, a real estate agent. She is known to some in our audience as the queen of the birther movement. Uh, Dr. Tates, it's always great to have you on. You know, we're getting into really the end of President Barack Obama's presidency here. And I'm curious, as of now, we like to check in with you every couple of years. Where does the movement around proving that President Obama is not an eligible president going? Where does that movement stand today? <coughs> well, uh, the cases are still there in courts. And for example, one of the cases, I mean, it's good that you check every two years because nothing happens in many courts. I've noticed that, yeah. Yeah, the case that I filed in Mississippi, and that's a RICO case, it's a racketeering case where I'm stating that Barack Obama and some of the uh, officials in Hawaii and the federal government engaged in RICO, which is racketeering influence corrupt organization. And uh, this case was filed in February of 2012, two and a half years ago, and we still don't have a decision there yet. Right. Um, uh, the case was filed in, in state court, and then Barack Obama's lawyers have moved the case to um, federal courts. And of course, the premise of the case that you know, and as I stated before to your audience, uh, Barack Obama posted his own tax returns online and uh, he forgot to flatten the PDF file. So anybody uh, with Adobe Illustrator could open and see the full social security number and it failed both E-Verify and SSMBS. So, so let's stop there because I, I think this is an interesting point. The flattening of the PDF I know is a very interesting thing. I'm curious, Orly, and I asked this question with absolutely no prejudice. I just want your opinion on it. Many of the notorious birthers have now moved on and said, you know what? We were wrong about the birth certificate thing. For example, I interviewed Avi Lipkin, who was very big on the birth certificate stuff, and he has even now said, you know what? The birth certificate is fine. There's really nothing in the birth certificate that actually proves President Obama I, I, was deceptive. I, I, so do you agree with that or, do, or are you still are pushing the birth certificate stuff? Well, it's not. First of all, I'm extremely surprised about Ivy Lipkin because I had an email from him not so long ago and he said, Orly, you're doing a great job. Uh, you know, um, this is such an amazing work you're doing. I support you all the way. So I'm extremely surprised. As a matter of fact, he, lo he, he lives in Israel and he invited me to come over when I, I, I'm there. I'm extremely surprised at, of what you're saying. So I would have to listen to your interview and see what exactly did he say, yeah. because the emails that he sent to me say the opposite of what you're saying. Wow. That's in regards to Abby Lipkin. Okay. I, I, I didn't, I didn't uh, see your interview, so I would have to watch it and see exactly what he said. But so long story short, you still believe that the PDF of the birth certificate shows some of the lies here. Well, first of all, uh, I, if you recall, I was talking about his social security number right. that he himself posted. So there is no question that he posted his uh, his uh, tax returns online. Mm. There is no question that he didn't flatten the PDF file. There is no question that the number 04268-4425 that is listed there shows uh, by both government agencies, E-Verify and SSMVS as a number that was never issued to Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. The fact that he's committing fraud is go with, it goes without a question, that there is no doubt in that. The question is, when will judiciary do something about it? That's right. in regards to social security, in regards to the birth certificate. We have more and more evidence showing uh, uh, fraud. And what's interesting that the only person that could verify, as, as you know, when Obama po posted his birth certificate, not social security, but he also posted his birth certificate online, right. also didn't flatten the PDF file. Somebody needs to tell him, you need to flatten the PDF files. Yeah, well, that's but what's crazy <laughs> to me because, you know, Orly, the other day I interviewed someone uh, his name's Dr. Jim Garrow. He lives in Canada. And yeah, he, yeah, I he, know. He, you I know him. He... Oh, I'm not surprised to hear that you know him because his theory is that he claims to be a former intelligence operative and he believes that he was fired under the direction of President Obama and that President Obama, uh, uh, people acting on the behalf of President Obama, drilled holes in his vehicle and filled it with a certain substance which was designed to cause his vehicle to seize up and flip end over end. And the fascinating thing is uh, when we look when we look at that theory, uh, it, it's always it's always a question of why weren't they better 
at carrying out the fraud. So with you know, Dr. Jim, no, hold on, Orly. With Dr. Jim, I said, don't you think if the president wants to assassinate you, he would have a more foolproof method than one where maybe it doesn't work like drilling holes in your car? And I would ask you the same thing. If this is this incredible fraud over decades, wouldn't they know to flatten the PDF? Well, you know, people look, criminals uh, are, not, are not perfect. Criminals make mistakes. Ah. And the thing is, Barack Obama could not, cannot po put a, uh, you know, an advertisement in Washington uh, Post or New York Times saying, I'm looking for the best forger money can buy. Of course not. He's using the same people who, uh, who probably his friend, um, Bill Ayers uh, used. Uh, and as a matter of fact, just yesterday, we've seen an interview with Bill Ayers, where he admits that he lifted uh, the uh, uh, IDs of dead babies. So <laughs> exactly. let me see, Orly, if what I understand happened? correctly. I mean, I've seen the same modus operandi right. where he and his friends are using bogus IDs. And, and it is well known. Everybody in Washington, D.C. knows it. As a matter of fact, I, I recently was at a meeting with three congressmen, my congressman, Dana Rohrbacher. They meet with you about this stuff. Oh, absolutely. I'm shocked. We need to call uh, we need to call uh, 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 Rohrbacher's office and talk about that. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, it was a meeting. There were a number of people there. Uh, there, there was uh, um, uh, there were two other congressmen uh, at the meeting. And um, one of them is actually a former judge. And basically, they're saying everybody in Washington, D.C. knows about it. It's, it's not a secret. It's, it's right. a secret in Washington, D.C. And, and I believe that um, and actually, Dana Rohrbacher told me that this is an issue that should have been uh, taken and, and discussed uh, in Congress right away. As, so as your assertion, Orly, your assertion is that Dana Rohrbacher in, in a private conversation with you said that uh, that the birther issue is a real issue and that there that President Obama may not be eligible to be president. That's your contention of what Dana Rohrbacher said to you. Uh, uh, and it wasn't even a private uh, conversation. There were probably a hundred people there, and uh, he, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, the uh, Ted Poe was there. Okay, well, we're, we'll follow up with Congressman wait, Rohrbacher wait, wait, about that. David, David, hold on. But what is important is. Um, uh, f first, uh, I believe that many in the Republican Party are waiting to see what will happen in November election. And, but moreover, I think more and more people are now realizing that Barack Obama is a fraud. Look at the numbers. The latest um, poll numbers <coughs> by Gallup shows that only 29% of Americans, less than 3 out of 10 Americans, uh, have uh, confidence in Barack Obama. But that's completely, uh, but, or, but Orly, we have to, we, hold on a second. We, you've been speaking for a while now. Let me at least direct the conversation, if I may, saying you don't have confidence in the president. Very few people had confidence in President Bush, but that didn't equate to them thinking that he was a fraud. So I want to bring it back to another point. But, uh, okay. but, but hold on, let me bring it back to another point, which is when we spoke years ago, you said that Republicans were waiting to see what was going to happen in the 2010 midterms. When we spoke between the 2010 and 2012 election, you told me that, well, we need to first see if President Obama is reelected and then we will see what to do next. And now you're saying, well, now Republicans are waiting for the 2014 election. Do you see that President Obama is going to be out of office before any of this nonsense moves forward? First of all, it's not OK. First of all, it was really rude on your part to call it nonsense because those are real facts. The facts no, no, but but or, but, but Dr. Tate, you know that every court says it's not a real fact. No, no, that's the whole point, that not one single court has addressed this issue on the merits. What did the court say? They said, well, we don't have jurisdiction. You don't have standing. This was not heard on the merits yet. And believe me, it will be heard on the merits. Okay. Whether it will be before uh, 2016 or not, I don't know. But, you, but, but uh, Dr. Tate, as an attorney, do you agree that courts don't have a responsibility to hear any notion that someone brings up. In other words, I could go to a court right now, but hold on, let me get the question out. I could go to a court right now and say, uh, I believe that John Boehner is actually an alien and I want the court to look into it. Hold on, but hold on a second, hold on a second. But this is nonsense. It's not nonsense. Let me get the question out, Lorley, if I may, if I may get the question out. Look, your listeners have to know the truth. When you go and say uh, John Boehner is an alien, that's really nonsense. That's right. When I bring, stop, 
Stop now. <laughs> when I bring a sworn affidavit from the chief investigator of Special Investigations Unit yeah. of the U.S. Coast Guard that is stating under penalty of perjury that Barack Obama's selective service registration is a forgery yeah. and it contains and fabricated cancellation USPS stamp, that's real evidence. Mm. And judges are committing treason. Dr. Tates, I, the last thing I want to touch on is this. I'm truly curious about this. Is this stuff, is this your full-time job? Like, do you no, do you do this all day? No, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm a practicing dentist. I, I have a practice with uh, like 27,000 patients. I have another dentist working for me. Uh, and uh, I have a family. I have three grown sons. Um, who See, I, th I thought last time you told me you were you were a dentist only in, in Europe. I did, you, did, you didn't tell me you were oh, a no, dentist no, no. here. Oh, I've been a I've been a dentist for 27 years. Um, I have a lot of patients, uh, and actually I enjoy doing both because dentistry is more working with your hands, uh, and you, and you see immediate results. You know, you see a smile of somebody. And of course, Dr. Tate, yeah, do you re do you recommend at this point that if anyone has those metal fillings, should they have those replaced now with the new <laughs> synthetics? Because I know that there's there's controversy over whether you should keep that the metal may be ma bad for the mouth. Yes. Um, well, um, I actually would recommend because there are studies that, that are saying that uh, some people end up um, getting autoimmune dis diseases because of uh, the, the metals. And so white feelings uh, would not trigger the same autoimmune dis dis diseases. There were some studies showing that it can cause um, um, uh, multiple sclerosis. Wow. Uh, so I would recommend replacing uh, uh, those feelings and, and also cosmetic, but it's much more pleasing your smile and have nice beautiful white smiles so. all right well you'll be pleased to know i have all white fillings i floss <laughs> every day and i even do the mouthwash at the end of the night you know the uh, you know because what? I, if david i hope you're gonna exercise the same due diligence in investigating obama said this as you show in uh, investigating white fillings and then you would know that we do have a, a fraud of the charlatan sitting in the white house all right there it is it is dr orly tate's lawyer dentist practicing dentist dentist we have learned and real estate agent orly we don't agree on anything but i'm always fascinated by the world you live in uh, same here thank you